The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 25. You get the NASDAQ down one. S&Ps are up one. Gold contract up $6.90, trading at $11.47 an ounce. You have silver up $0.07, $16.11 an ounce. Platinum is flat at $8.99. You get the light sweet crude. Uh, flat at $54. Notes, the 10-year note up five ticks, 123.25. 30-year bond up one tick, 149.24. King dollar, king dollar down uh, 294 ticks, 102.950. Now, king dollar, folks, had tested the highs uh, of uh, December 15th yesterday, failed on price, failed on volume. Bottom line, came back last night, and we, had, we've had, we have more volume in king dollar on the way down than we had all day yesterday. So bottom line is that King Dollar is looking for lower price. Euro, the Euro is trading at a buck four, and the yen is out here at 116.72. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna well, know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have out here? Bottom line, uh, yesterday you had an expansion of volume as we came into lower price. Uh, bottom line uh, is that uh, the uh, let's see, so uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. So Tuesday we did uh, 42 million shares, hit our price point out here of 226.73. Bottom line, we come down yesterday with 64 million. What I expect you're gonna see here, we're gonna build some cars. Uh, it's gonna take some force, folks, to get into the trading day of December 7th. Uh, we're right at the top of it right now. That uh, December 7th, we had gone from 221 up to 224 in the SPY. Uh, bottom line, we're, we're right at that level. I expect you, we're going to more than likely build cars to get down into that level. See whether that's going to be uh, in 2016 or 2017. Dow Industrial, same set, type of setup inside the Dow. Dow came down, has volume on the way down. Uh, the difference with the Dow is that uh, that's going uh, after the swing low of the uh, six, uh, 14th of December. We go take a look at the NDX 100. They're, they're all setting up the same way. Uh, NDX 100 had made a high on Tuesday at uh, 121.52, you did that with 16 million shares. We go downtown yesterday with 17 million. Uh, the uh, NDX 100, the Qs, are making their way, and actually, yeah, they're making their way into the lower range. Now, we're at $119.75, $119.66 will get you in that lower range. Uh, small caps, what do we have with the small caps? Small caps out here. Uh, came down with the volume yesterday. Uh, you're up 32 cents now, right now on the IWM. Uh, we had tried to get, we failed on price and volume on Tuesday. We did 13 million shares on the way up. We hit a price point of 132.30. Uh, yesterday you came down, I, I'm sorry, 13. Yeah, okay, so we did 13 million shares Tuesday. Uh, hit a price point of 137.30. We come down yesterday with 22 million. Bottom line, uh, that's building some cars to trying to get inside 134.10. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, folks, uh, is trading 11.48, up seven bucks. Now, what you're going to see is that the, what the gold contract did last night is that you had that high volume spike uh, from Monday night, and that was at 11.51. Uh, bottom line uh, was 11.51.70. Last night, what does it do? It goes after that uh, high volume spike, 11.51.30. We hit. Now, what's cool about this is that what gold has going for it right now is this, is that gold pulled back at uh, 8.20 this morning, pulled back into its strength that it had at 10 o'clock last night, and guess what? Now you get buyers once again in the gold market. Someone just came in the market right at 10 o'clock, uh, 2,700 uh, contracts. Bottom line, that's saying that gold wants to go back up to this 1150 area. Uh, the gold and silver equities, they're catching a bid out here this morning. You have the XAU up by $275. We're trading at $80.07. Uh, that bottom line, that's on its way up to uh, $84. It's, it's well within uh, the higher trading range right now. And let's see. 
Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can actually make a case that uh, we're going to be up into the $92 area, and right now you're at 80. The Gold Bugs Index, we go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Uh, Gold Bugs Index also caught a bid. We are at, uh, we're up $7 right now at $184.24. Uh, that's well within uh, the range. At 176 is the range. That's setting up that uh, it's going to go after the uh, 187. We take a look at uh, the bond market, the 10-year note first. What we have with the note, uh, the note caught a bid out here yesterday. We're up five ticks right now. You're trading at a price point of uh, 123.25. And let's see here. This has a few more ticks. 123.28 will get you in that range. We'll see whether we can get that. The volume characteristic is pretty good out here right now uh, for holiday trading. The bond, the 30-year bond, what we have with the 30-year bond is this. 30-year uh, bond got to a price point today of 150.10. Uh, right now we're trading out at uh, 149.29. Now this is in this is in a higher range, but we want to see this thing like up at 150.31. And King Dollar, what do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar has failed on price, failed on volume, uh, has some juice on the way down out here this morning. You know, still very subtle move, but the bottom line is that what you can see is that King Dollar did 19,000 contracts yesterday, trying to get to a high. It's already it's only 10:15 in the morning. We've already done 21,000 contracts. Uh, this is building cost to try to get back inside the 102.025 price point. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials up 26. NASDAQ down 2. S&P's up a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks, and uh, we are going to have uh, natural gas numbers at uh, 1030. We have uh, oil at 11, so we'll get our head wrapped around that. Let's go to Lou in Nashua first. Hey, Lou, what's going on? Hey, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you also. Let's make it a great one. Yes. Hey, I uh, bought Nugget yesterday at uh, six, uh, 7 11, and uh, things are going crazy today. I was just wondering how, uh, how long I should stay in it. Let's take a look at it. So, uh, NUGT, this is the Direction Daily Gold Miners Bull, three times 300% uh, um, leverage position of the New York ARCA Index. So, so, let's just go over to the GDX first and take a look at it. Uh, what you have with the GDX right now, uh, we are up 86 cents. Uh, you're into the higher range. Uh, you know, next, we're at 2110. This thing can get 2149 today. Let me look at this. Yeah, this this got action. I mean, there's no doubt this got action here. Yeah, uh, the the you know the the gold and silver equities uh, caught a bid, folks, and a good bid. Uh, so uh, you know, for a holiday week trading, uh, these actually are going to have volume, which is pretty amazing. Uh, bottom line, that means they want higher price. So if we go over to the right. NUGT, uh, we take a look at the a Nugget. A nugget uh, is trading at the 794 right now. You know, 860s game. You know, 811, 811 to 860 is the next move. I mean, this gets inside. Hey. Yeah, I, I would stay right there, man. That's the bottom line. Super. Super. Sounds great. Anyway. Hey, so, have a good one. Okay. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go over and we take a look at uh, what we have happening right now um, inside the uh, gas market. So the gas market is at 1030. Let me see what we got here. So right now we're at uh, 1020. So if we go take a look at, uh, let's see. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, uh, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit the banner, bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these contracts trade out. Now, the one we're going to be looking at, because we're looking for volatility, uh, is the 9 to 11 o'clock um, spread and right now we're on the february contract uh and let's see what we where we're trading out here okay come on up where's that chart okay let me pull something else up for that. Uh, so i can get an understanding where this where this is right now for some reason this is not coming up here okay let's see what we got okay so natural gas right now february we're at 388 oh this is going to get interesting because at 388 would you have let me put this over here you know yesterday what ended up happening is that we got over these highs of the last consolidation and you had real volume in. So that's saying that the gas can really go. Uh, let me go back to these contracts again. I'm not sure why that's not pulling in there. Let me see. Let me redo this thing and see what we got here. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Okay, natural gas. Where are we? Natural gas. Oh. 
having a hard time with these. Uh, okay, 8.30. So look, if we look at these spreads, eight, 3.80 would be the top, and I got a 3.80 bottom too. Interesting. Okay, so if I'm looking for volatility, let's see how this sets up. So what we're looking for, I got a 3.80 to $4 spread, and I got a 3.60 to 3.80. So I believe we're at 382 right now. And if I, let's see, so if I'm buying, no, if I'm selling, yeah, perfect. I'm selling one and buying the other. That would be, let's see, so 30, 36, 46. 52, that's five penny move that I'd need. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so intraday. So what ended up happening is this, that this contract, if I did both sides of the contract, it would cost me uh, five pennies um, of 52 ticks. So the, the high out here for today was 387, uh, and the low is 379. That's intriguing, all right. I'm not gonna do this trade. Um, because what ends up happening is that the, if we take a look at this, my reality would be that this thing can go to 390, which, you know, which would be pretty good. I mean, uh, but I need 388 to break even. That's how this thing shakes out. That's on uh, that, uh, the higher side. So we'll see where this uh, thing does shake out. Uh, what we are going to have uh, also coming up uh, at 11, Let's go look at this uh, oil contract for a second. So oil, right now, crude oil, crude oil is at 53.89, and this one here is over the 53.26. Anything over 53.26, uh, bottom line is that, uh, well, see, I, I kind of like this one, but I like this one on the way down, because uh, we're at 53.90. And you can see intraday today, you had a couple sellers at 4.40 in the morning, as well as uh, 6.50, and that, uh, most of that was uh, on the way down. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, indices, the strength versus the weakness, so what we have is this, uh, inside the Dow Industrials, uh, the strength out here this morning is Verizon, that's up uh, five, one half a percent, Coke's up one half, McDonald's is up four tenths. Uh, taken away from it, Goldman's down six tenths or a buck sixty-three. Let's just see if Goldman has any uh, volume on the way down. Not much, nothing. Uh, inside the NDX 100, what do we have? Uh, inside the NDX, you have Myelin Pharmaceuticals, the leader up 1.7%. Uh, Baidu's up 1.2%. Uh, Syrian Corporation is up 1%. Taken away from it, NVIDIA is down 3.4%. Let's go take a look at NVIDIA because... NVIDIA, uh, you know, came down yesterday uh, off those highs, and right there, 100.69, uh, that's where it probably wants to get into. Uh, I wouldn't be going short NVIDIA, though. That's the bottom line. Uh, that still has a 14.2% uh, shot interest. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back with some gas numbers for you. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 27. NASDAQ is up 5. S&Ps are up 2.5. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so uh, EIA uh, says nat U.S. natural gas stockpiles fell 237 uh, billion cubic feet uh, last week. Uh, that uh, the estimate that they had projected was 227. Uh, so uh, it fell uh, another uh, 10. No big deal. They got that kind of down pat actually. Uh, and as to the market itself, uh, it basically is staying uh, right where it was. Uh, you had a small spike up, uh, pull back a bit, uh, but it doesn't look like at this particular point. Uh, there's, there's much action out there. Uh, if we do go over and we take a look at the uh, NDX100, we, the NDX100 right now, uh, you're trading flat out here. Uh, bottom line is that what you can expect, uh, we're going to see out here today, folks, is you're going to build some cars. And, you know, the subtle part of this is that will there also be an expansion of volume as we're building some cars here? So we had... And the NDX 100 yesterday is that uh, the Qs did 17.9 uh, uh, million. Uh, you're at 3.2 million right now. So if we come in with about 16, 17 million, that is setting up that it's going to try to break inside the lower range. Uh, we're 20 cents away from it right now. Uh, with the way that the market traded yesterday, what I don't expect is that you're going to be able to break inside of it today. Uh, and if we do go over to the... Uh, SPY, what you're going to see with the SPY, what the SPY did, and you can see how it's just sitting here. Uh, when the SPY went topside, uh, as the indices did on the 7th, uh, well, as they did again on the 7th of December, uh, the SPY went from 221 to 224.67. Bottom line, you have 110 million shares there. We come down yesterday with 64 million. You can see we're right at that level. What that's going to do, it's going to take building some cars at this point in order to break into it. If you don't build cars and you break into it, what would end up happening is that more than likely you get a rejection of price. 
you get the rejection of price, and that would say that, hey, guess what? You're going to go for the highs again. So um, that, that's the two setups that are inside uh, the SPY. If we go over to the IWM and you look at the IWM, uh, this is up 50 cents right now. Now, if you're a bear, this is pretty cool uh, because what you want to see is that we came down yesterday uh, with 22 million. You want to see a bounce and you want to see a rejection of price with lighter volume. And at this point, uh, that's exactly what you have happening inside the IWM. If we go to the diamonds, we take a look at the diamonds. Uh, same type of setup inside the diamonds. The diamonds yesterday uh, had it made, made a high on Tuesday at 199.54, uh, 2.3 million. You come down yesterday with 3.9, bottom line. Um, you, you, you're doing a, a small uh, counter trend bounce out here uh, today. And, uh, you know, we'll see where that shakes out. We go back to that uh, natural gas market, and it's still flattening out. Uh, it looks like it wants to try to catch a bid here, though, so we'll see. That 11 o'clock, I got to get the, let's see, let me pull this up again. Let's just see where we are. So, having a tough, for some reason, the index is not coming up for me. Yeah, just still not coming up. So, uh, if we go over to the... Uh, some of these Dow stocks, this is how these Dow stocks are trading out right now. You have, uh, uh, well, actually, let's, we'll go into the oil in a second. You have uh, the XL, the X, where is ExxonMobil? ExxonMobil right now is trading at uh, 90.49, and that also had a little expansion of volume yesterday. So uh, Exxon is having a tough time getting the higher price. Let's go to our man, Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Doing very good. I like the way this uh, Nugget and Jay Nugget are moving. I know, man. It's, it's <laughs> for, for a nice end-of-the-year blast. It has, it, has, it has strength, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's moving with strength. Yesterday, folks, you did 51 million shares in the Nugget. We've already done 30 million today. If you do the correlation just even inside the GDX... Um, GDX uh, were 15 million. Yesterday it did 60. Uh, it looks like the GDX is going to run to this 2149. If you launch the 2149, man, you know, the next stop is uh, the 2338. So we get action, man. Beautiful. Hey, I was looking at the silver, you know, the USLV, and I'm noticing that really silver's not doing much. So let's take a look at USLV. This is the velocity shares three times long, a uh, silver ETN. Uh, this is trading at 11.65. Yeah, look at that. Interesting, man. Wow. I picked okay. them up off the start this morning, and um, I, you know, I was, it went up a little bit, and just kind of sat there, and it came back down. Yeah. And so you it's guys. like, eesh, maybe silver will, uh, you know, maybe give us a New Year's surprise tomorrow, or maybe even this afternoon. Who knows? Well, you can see what the difference is. So. What you have here, folks, is this. This is, this is the difference between the owning the physical metal and the metal stocks. So this trades off of the metal. You know? So if we go back and we, we take a look at <coughs> the silver contract, you're going to see that uh, SIH7, the silver contract, you know, as is gold, really hasn't moved. Um, so that's, that's what you're banking on here, which is, which is different because what has happened is that, you know, the metal stocks are moving and they're moving big. Um, yeah. And, you know, that's a decent indication that, yes, the metal will move, uh, but what, what tends to happen is that the, it looks like the, I, I think it's gonna take longer for the actual metal to move, Tom. Um, for some reason, it's and it probably has to do with the dollar. The dollar really hasn't failed just yet. You know what we had last night, folks, is that uh, it came down and it's still pressing down. You know we've done twenty-two thousand contracts. It's pressing into this one hundred two five ninety area right now. You're at one hundred two nine fifteen, and if we go over to the yen, you're going to see the direct correlation between the yen and the gold market, uh, physical gold. You know, last night the yen 
went from a price point of 117 to 116.23. As that was doing that, that's when gold caught a bid. Gold was up, uh, you know, eight dollars, nine dollars last night. You know, so so that's 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 the correlation. I mean, you know, we build a little cause here. I mean, I picked some up last week too, and it dipped into the the uh, ends there. Right. So I was like, oh, okay. So we'll just we'll just sit tight and and wait and uh, see what happens. No, listen, I I I. I think you're there, man. I mean, the bottom line is I love the, the, we know that the whole world was bearish on the whole deal, period, and continues to be. So that is always, I heard a great quote yesterday, and this was by a big money manager, and he had been long the dollar, and uh, his quote was that, listen, everyone's long the dollar right now. They think that that's the best trade that's out there. And he said, if I learned anything, he says, when everyone's on, you know, one side of the market, guess what? It's, it's not the right side to be on. So we'll see how it shakes out. Cooking, brother. Yeah. Happy, yeah, happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Uh, you get crude coming out in uh, 20 minutes. Uh, Dow right now is up 16. NASDAQ is, uh, let's see, NASDAQ is up one. S&Ps are up buck, buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up nine. Nasdaq's down uh, one. S&P's are flat. If we take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks uh, in this market right now, uh, you get uh, NVIDIA down uh, $4. You got Micron Tech uh, down 40 cents. You have uh, Wells Fargo off 36 cents. Newmont Mining's up a buck 76. 
Uh, if you take a look at Newmont, Newmont, uh, these, these gold uh, equities are catching not only a bid, but a good one. Uh, Newmont uh, is launching uh, the downdraft, uh, and this was a monster downdraft of December 14th. Uh, that's where, excuse me, folks, sorry about that. Newmont went from a price point of a 34.43 to 31.65. You did it with 12 million shares. You're at uh, 34.56 right now, so it's launching that number. Uh, if it's, that stays over that number, that's saying, um, you know, Newmont uh, bottom line would launch 38. That'll be that'll be quite a move. Uh, Barrick, uh, ABX. Uh, it's a uh, Newmont is the second largest weighting inside the um, GDX. Uh, New uh, Barrick. Uh, well, actually, I'll look at this again because it goes back and forth between Newmont and Barrick. Uh, Barrick is trading $16.12. That is also uh, trying to launch uh, this uh, $16.14, which was where really the downdraft was there. And that's a big number because uh, you can make the case with Barrick is that that wants to go to $18.95. Now, that's on the daily. Put this on a weekly. Well, this is pretty on a weekly. Because, see, what, what we've done, folks, is this. We've already made the test of the March... 2016, February uh, 2016 levels inside many of these, <laughs> sorry folks, excuse me, um, inside many of these uh, gold equities. Now what you're having is that you're getting the sign of strength, and that's what you need uh, in order to get the higher price. Uh, if you'd like to test drive the gold report, it's a great time to do it. You can come over to our website at TFNN, I'll go to newsletters, and go to investment newsletters, you can test drive that 30 days absolutely free. Um, you know, bottom line is that uh, a lot of these things are, are moving and they're moving nice. If we go look at an, an Eco Eagle AEM, uh, that's up two dollars and forty cents. That's already launched the downdraft. The downdraft, uh, and this is going to launch it with more volume too. So check this out. AEM on the 14th went from a price point of forty to thirty-seven, forty dollars and fifty cents to thirty-seven sixty-seven. We did two point three million shares. You're already at nine hundred and seventy-eight five thousand. So we're going to do more than that. You're launching the price. You're into that. So that's taking care of the last downdraft. The downdraft that was created out here in November from the election, uh, that's when it went from $52 down to $41 in three days. Well, the bottom of that is $41.68. We're already into that. That is setting up that it wants to go to the top of it, which is $46. Uh, bottom line is you get a little more juice meaning price spread out here, which you can get pretty easy out here today. Let me just see this intraday. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna launch it right now. So this would be interesting, because right where we are right now, it's trying to launch the 4284, and you need 140, more than 143,000 shares, and this is gonna be wild. So check this out. We are at five minutes into the bar, and you have 75,000, and you need more than 140 for a small ABC up. Actually, it would be a pretty big intraday ABC up. Uh, that would get you to, this is pretty wild, so that'd be 40, 45, yeah, that's two, 220, which would get you up to the $45 number. So bottom line is that uh, there's some real juice here. That, that AEM could be up five bucks today. Uh, if we get moves like that, uh, this is going to be a shocker. And what, what you do have, let me just look at something for a second. Let me see. Yeah, the shot interest is only 2%. But uh, this, thing is, this thing's catching a bid. And so, what you, so, so picture what you, you also can have here very quickly, folks, is that the way that the market came down yesterday, well, first off, the market on Tuesday tested its highs, failed on price and volume. Comes down yesterday, you get an expansion of volume, right? Today, I'm figuring flat market all day long. That being said, what you have is that you have huge money managers who are trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to do? Well, guess what? Because, you know, the, the gold and silver equities, they've got smoked, right, for a long period of time. Guess what? That transfer from selling some big winners coming into these that's what you probably are seeing also. And we're going to know that, and we're going to know it pretty quickly, uh, because it looks like, like if I go over to Gold Corp, Gold Corp's done 4.5 million. It's coming into 14 million. And let me put this up. I'm going to put up 
Yeah, you, you got you got institutions coming in. So check this out. If you if you're watching Tiger TV, <clears throat> what I just put up, I put up the largest trades that are done by thousands. Okay, so each one of these, when you see them, uh, that that they're time stamped, and you can see what's happening with Gold Corp. Uh, Gold Corp. You're talking about fourteen thousand. 12,000, 11,000, 11,000, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9. Um, you know, those are bulk trades coming in. Uh, if we go to an Eco Eagle and we do the same thing, what you're going to see, uh, let's see, AEM. An Eco Eagle, not as big. Uh, an Eco Eagle, uh, 9,000, 11,000. Gold Corp has. Uh, let me go put this back again because I know Fidelity loves Gold Corp. I got to see this. See, when you get an identification, and, and they've always loved Gold Corp and they love uh, Rango Resources. Let me just see this. Well, it doesn't look like they're here right now, though. Mass Mutual is, though. That's interesting. I got to look at it. Because if Mass, see what happens is Mass, between Mass Mutual, uh, State Street, and Fidelity. Normally, they're all in the same one, but they're not. And they're not in this one. Oh, look at this! It's just the opposite, actually. So, in Gold Corp, maybe they're buying back now. In Gold Corp, in the last filing, Fidelity had sold 11 million shares. They had seven million left. Uh, if we go over to, to let's go to Wrangell Resources and look at the same setup. Uh, Wrangell's a seven, eight dollar stock. Uh, they're coming in five thousand, four thousand, three thousand. Now, HDC. We look at the ownership uh, inside of that, and uh, you do have Fidelity. Fidelity owns 5.62% uh, uh, of this equity here. You know? So bottom line is that uh, we get some buy-in in there. And the buy-in will, it, you know, this is really early in the morning to get this kind of buy-in. So this thing can accelerate, and it can, can accelerate in a huge way, you know, because you're still only at uh, 10.50 a.m. Uh, and even since we were just talking with, an eco eagle. It was breaking that B point. <laughs> Look at that as we're talking. It was breaking, and it broke it with volume. There we go. It's 10:59. If you want to see how these ABC structures set up, folks, this is a this is pretty wild. So the B point that we had here at four, uh, 143,000 shares traded, right? Guess what? We've just done 127,000. Hundred and twenty seven thousand. One second. No, I see. Okay. It was ninety it was ninety two thousand. Ninety two thousand at forty two eighty four. We've done hundred and twenty seven thousand. So you broke the B intraday, you broke it with volume. That sets up a forty five price point inside AEM. Big number. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. And, of course, we're going to be going 11 o'clock to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, then uh, Swim Lesson, Steve Rhodes. Uh, and uh, we'll be back uh, this afternoon. And of course, uh, at 11 o'clock, uh, we're going to get, well, yeah, uh, we'll have those oil numbers. We'll be right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. 
As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down at 13. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 7. We get the uh, S&Ps down a point and a half. And, uh, yeah, the natural gas market, uh, we were, when we were doing this, uh, let, me, let me pull this up here for a second, CRB. And, Jay, where are we at natural gas right now? Let me just, this because this quote that I still have is old for some reason. Uh, natural gas, natural gas. 379. Okay, so uh, bottom line is that they've, uh, they're still fluctuating. Um, yeah, the spread out here was uh, 386 to 379. Yeah, seven cents. And so that wouldn't have been, that wouldn't have been bad, but uh, bottom line is that you're looking for more than that. So that spread was going to cost me just over five, uh, 52. That's what it was. Uh, so um, five more minutes at seven. Yeah, you, you, you would have done the, something slightly. Yeah, you, you, you're looking for more than that when you're doing these high volatility spreads. That's what you're looking for. Um, the, uh, if we go over and we take a look at the uh, oil market. So what we're going to have uh, uh, right at 11 o'clock, uh, the uh, crude oil is going to be coming out. Now, crude oil right now is at 53.93. And the way that this is set up, yeah, it looks to me like the way this is set up, this is going to try to uh, push into like the 53, where's the low of that? 53.74. This doesn't look like it's going to have a lot of movement either. You know, 20 cents down um, wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, but what you do have is this, is that 53.26 would get you inside the lower range. You know, so this is going to be pretty intriguing watching this whole thing shake out because uh, it's, it's tucked itself inside this lower range um, just about uh, eight days out of the last uh, 14. And each time it goes back inside there, it says, okay, I don't want to be inside there. I go higher again. But as it goes higher, uh, bottom line is that uh, you, don't, you don't have any buyers up there. Uh, if we go over to the GDX again, these golds and silvers, these are catching a real bid, man. I mean, big time. Uh, this is just what this is just what this this is a true sign of strength. This is exactly uh, what that metal market needs. Um, so uh, we'll see uh, what the buy-in is behind this whole deal, but it, it's out there. If you take a look at the, if we go to the XAU, uh, what you're going to see, uh, XAU, yeah, it's up 425 right now uh, at 81. 55. You got the gold bugs index is up uh, 827 uh, at 185.50. Now check this out. The gold bugs index um, has already taken out its downdraft uh, that was created on the 14th. 
That sets up, uh, let me pull this back for a second. This is pretty cool, man. It, particularly because the Gold Bugs Index, folks, was the weakest uh, when you look at the uh, both of them. So 178. Yeah, you get game, man. I mean, this thing is game up to, wow. Okay, so now you have game in the Gold Bugs Index to 203. So you take this out. It's going to have the volume behind the move. And, you know, the next place of ice, what happens here is that we have ice at many places because of the way that the, these equities got, you know, smoked on the way down. So, you know, a normal bounce is 203.55, you know. Uh, what, what the XAU, the HUI, and these equities have shown, though, is that now this is more than a bounce. The reason I'm saying that is that when you get a bounce, folks, what happens is this. You'd be going down with volume. You, get, you go up and you go up with lighter volume. This is strength. This is going into the supply line with wide price spread, with accelerated volume. You stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Dow Industrials are down three. NASDAQ's off six. S&P's are flat. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking this afternoon, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.